Yes, now students see here in the previous question, so in the addition, so more 4 bits were there. So, that bits you do as your home assignment, okay. So, now after that see here, what problems? So, what we have to do in what problem first? We have to read the question, then second understand the question, then steps, then first after that you have to decide what you have to do. Addition, multiplication, subtraction or division. Then after that, so procedure, steps, procedure, conclusion. So, this you have to write, okay. Now, see here, first read the question. Solve the following problems, these were problem. So, there are 114 rose bushes currently in the park. How many bushes were there? So, 114, 114 bushes were there. Park workers will plant 138, 138 more bushes today. Then how many rose bushes will the park have in total, in total? First how many bushes were there? 114. So, then today how many plants they planted? So, 138 rose bushes they planted. So, planted means they added. So, means we have to add. Already there more bushes planted. That means we have to add. So, then, so first so read and understand then decide. Then what we have to do? Addition here. So, then after that steps. Then we have to find total rose bushes. Okay. Then here present rose bushes. How many? 114. So, these many bushes were there. Then number of number of rows number of rows bushes planted today how many 138 138 then total bushes we have to find total bushes we have to find so this is ones this is tens this is 100 then what we have to do addition we have to do then how to add first we have to add this ones place then what is there in ones column 8 and 4 add 8 and 4 8 9 10 11 12 12 ones 12 ones means 2 ones and 1 tens 1 you take carry over on tens place then after that add tens column 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 tens 1 plus 1 2 252 so what is this this is total bushes in the total rows bushes in the park in the so this many rows bushes were there in the park 252 252 okay so how many 252 rows bushes were there in the park okay now the second question so jenny grew 118 carrots how many 118 carrots then then after that john grew 111 carrots then how many carrots did they grow in all they grow in all means so in all he is asking in all means combined combined means we have to add we have to add total carrots how many carrots means jenny carrots and john carrots total carrots we have to find total carrots means we have to add total whenever total means here carrots how many in all in all is given in all means we have to find total total means we have to find sum sum means addition addition we have to do okay now solution now steps carrots jenny grief is equal to 118 carrots 118 carrots 
then number of carrots carrots john grief how many 111 then total carrots we have to find total means we have to add total means we have to add addition this is ones place tens place and hundreds place first we have to add one column 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 is 9 so 9 is a single digit number so we have to write that as it is in ones column okay now in tens 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 tens then hundreds 1 plus 1 2 229 so total carrots total total carrots they grow in all in all this many carrots they grow in all ok so like this we have to find ok students now next question see here Reena has 139 books Rohit has 109 books how many books do they have together do they have together together means combined combined means addition addition means sum so we have to find together means all so we have to find here addition we have to do together he is asking ok so first Reena has how many books 139 books Rohit has 109 books so he is having she is having this many books and he is having this many books then total books together how many books they have so we have to add so Reena books and Rohit books then you will get total books ok now Reena books Reena books how many books 139 Rohit Rohit books how many books he is having 109 109 now after that what we have to do we have to add so why we are adding so we have to find all the books together how many books they have together so this is ones place tens place and hundreds place first we have to add ones column 9 plus 9 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 total 18 here 18 means 8 ones and 1 tens take 1 carry over on tens column ok now add this column 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 0 4 1 plus 1 2 248 248 total books total books total books they have they have together how many books they have together 248 books they have together ok so in this way we have to find answer first we have to write the steps then after that addition then after that conclusion step ok now d question number d monica found so 882 seashells on the beach and arjun found 561 of the seashells how many seashells does they both have now how many she shells does they have both they have both both means together together means all all means sum sum means addition so we have to add so first how many shells monica found 882 then how many shells arjun found 561 then total shells we have to find first steps we have to write shells seashells monica found how many 882 882 next seashells 
who Arjun next Arjun found how many he found 561 561 882 561 so here here see seashells Monica found Monica Monica how many shells she found 882 and after that how many shells Arjun found 561 561 both how many they found so means we have to add we have to add this is our ones place tens place and hundreds place first we have to add ones column 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 how many 3 3 we have to write in ones column then after that we have to add tens column 8 plus 6 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 tens, 14, 14 tens means 4 tens and 1 hundreds. This 100 we have to take carry over on hundreds place. Now add 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay, 14. 1443 number of shells they found together so total total shells they found they they found together how many they found 1443 okay this many shells they found now after that the next question there are 103 CZs in the drawer Suraj placed 115 more so then how many CZs are now there in the total total how many CZs were there at the beginning 103 then how many CZs placed 115 then so total total means we have to add total in all together sum addition all this we have to add ok now here Caesars in the drawer how many 103 then more Caesars placed how many 115 115 here 115 and 103 now we have to add we have to add now 5 plus 3 or 3 plus 5 any have same first this is ones place tens place and hundreds place add 5 plus 3 5 6 7 8 8 we have to write 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 2 218 218 so this is total Caesars total this many Caesars 218 Caesars for there this is the total so like this in whenever what problems are given first you read what problem then understand then decide what you have to do then step simplification then final conclusion ok students Yes, now students, now subtraction with borrowing, with borrowing, first question, 10th, solve the following, so this all are minus, so we have to do subtraction in all, so by taking borrowing, first one, so this is 1's place, this is 10's place and this is 100's place, so first of all we have to take 1's column, in 1's column 7 and 5 is there, 7 minus 5, 7 minus 5. In this 7 total, say so if we means minus make minus 5, then how many left? 2 left. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then 1 in tens place, first 1 is there and 4 is there. So 1 is less than this 4. So we cannot minus this 1. 1 minus 4. Then what we have to do? So we have to borrow from the next place that is from hundreds place. So we have to take borrow from hundreds place. 100 we have to take borrow out of this 900 
out of this 900 if we take one borrow 100 borrow then 8 left then how many hundreds left 8 hundreds left here ok 100 100 is nothing but 10 tens 10 tens 10 plus 1 11 11 tens now 11 minus 4 11 minus 4 how to count here 4 is there no from 5 to 11 you have to count 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 7 ok here 8 minus 5 5 to 6 to 8 you have to count 6 7 8 it is 3 372 372 ok now the next one this is ones place and tens hundred first in ones place we start our subtraction from ones place 6 and 7 the first one is 6 the minute and subtend minute is the first one is called minute minute is less than subtend so we have to take borrow from the next place so here 6 tens out of 6 tens if you take 1 ten then 5 tens left 5 tens left 1 ten is equal to 10 ones 10 plus 6 16 ones 16 minus 7 16 minus 7 how much so then how to count from 8 to 16 we have to count 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 total 9 that 9 we have to write 5 minus 8 this minute is the first one is minute minute is less than this subtend so again we have to take borrow from the next here out of this 400 if you take 100 borrow then 300 left then 10 hundreds 100 if you take 100 that is equal to 10 tens 10 tens plus 5 tens 15 tens 15 minus 8 15 minus 8 then how to count from 9 to 15 we have to count 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 it is 7 3 minus 1 means 2 to 3 we have to count 2 3 it is 2 279 279 next 7 minus 5 7 minus 5 it is very easy 7 is bigger then we can minus it no need to take borrow then 6 to 7 we have to count 6 7 it is 2 it is this is 1's place 10's place and 100's place then after that here 5 and 8 5 is a minute minute is less than the subtend minute minute is less than subtend we have to take borrow from here out of this 800 if you take 100 borrow then 700 left in 800 if you take 100 borrow then 700 left 700 100 makes 10 tens 10 plus 5 15 15 tens then 15 minus 8 means 9 to 15 we have to count 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 it is 7 here it is 7 the 7 we have to write as it is 772 now here 8 minus 6 so minute is bigger no need to take borrow 8 minus 6 means 7 to 8 we have to count 7 8 it is 2 now after this 4 and 6 4 is a smaller then smaller we have to take a borrow in 700 if you take 100 borrow then 600 left here 100 is equal to 10 tens 10 plus 4 14 tens 14 minus 6 means from 7 to 14 we have to count 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 total 8 it is then after that 6 minus 1 means 2 to 6 we have to count 2 3 4 5 6 it is 5 6 minus 1 is 5 582 then after that 9 minus 8 it is very easy it is a bigger so 9 minus 1 these are the serial consecutive number the difference between the consecutive numbers means serial numbers is always 1 3 minus 7 this is less so you have to take 100 borrow from this side 700 out of 700 if you take 100 then 800 left 
then here 800 700 600 is left one decrease if you take 100 borrow so then you will get 600 then 100 is equal to 10 tens 10 plus 3 13 tens 13 minus 10 means 8 to 13 we have to count 8 9 10 11 12 13 means 5 we have to write and this 6 as it is we have to write ok this is 650 this is not 50 once you count from 8 to 13 8 9 10 11 12 13 it is 6 not 5 ok here it is 6 661 now after that this is 1's place 10's place and 100's place 2 minus 0 anything minus 0 is the same number itself that is 2 only any number minus 0 is always the number itself then 3 minus 4 3 is a smaller so we have to take one 10 borrow so you will get a 6 tens if you take one 10 so one 10 is equal to 10 100 take 100 borrow 100 is equal to 10 tens 10 plus 3 13 13 minus 4 means 5 to 13 we have to count 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 it is 9 it is 9 9 tens then in this column we have to take 6 as it is ok ok students in this way we have to do minus ok ok students now students see here borrowing from tens and hundreds so we have to take borrow from tens as well as from hundreds see here here minus this is ones tens and hundreds ones tens hundred here now we have to minus this ones column first 625 minus 239 how to make minus 5 minus 9 this is the minute minute is bigger smaller here than this subtree head so we cannot minus this one we have to take borrow from the next place that is from tens place take borrow from here 2 tens out of this 2 ten if you take 1 ten borrow then 1 ten left how many 110 left 110 is equal to 10 ones 10 plus 5 15 here it is 15 ok now 15 minus 9 means from 10 to 15 we have to count 10 11 12 13 14 15 how much 6 then here so 1 minus 3 we cannot make minus this one so we have to take borrow from here out of this 6 if you take 1 then 5 is left 100 makes 10 tens 10 plus 1 11 11 minus 3 11 minus 3 how much from 4 to 11 we have to count 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it is 8 5 minus 2 means 3 to 5 we have to count 3 4 5 it is 3 386 386 ok now here it is ones tens and hundred now 1 minus 2 we cannot minus this one so we have to take 110 borrow here 110 is there so if you take 110 so then 0 left nothing is left so if you take 110 then 0 left 110 makes 10 ones 10 plus 1 11 11 minus 2 means 3 to 11 we have to count 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 it is 9 it is 9 11 minus 2 is 9 here 0 minus 3 we cannot minus this one then we take 100 borrow from the next place then out of 6 hundreds if you take 100 then 5 hundreds left one will decrease then 5 hundreds 5 hundreds left here so we are taking 100 borrow 100 is 10 tens 10 plus 0 10 then 10 minus 3 means from 4 to 10 we have to count 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it is 7 it is 7 then after that 5 minus 4 these are serial numbers so difference always 1 
difference between the serial numbers always one okay next this is ones tens and hundred okay 5 minus 7 so we cannot minus this one then take borrow from here so out of this one if you take 100 borrow 0 left 100 is equal to 10 tens 10 plus 5 15 ones 10 10 1 10 is equal to 10 ones 10 plus 5 15 now 15 minus 7 here 7 no from 8 to 15 we have to count 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 it is 8 it is 8 0 minus 9 we cannot minus this one so we have to take borrow from here 0 minus 9 we cannot minus but 9 minus 0 we can minus it okay then 9 minus 0 minus 9 take 100 borrow 800 left then here 10 10 minus 9 is 1 serial numbers difference 1 8 minus 4 means 5 to 8 we have to count 5 6 7 8 it is 4 it is 4 418 okay now this one this is ones place tens place and hundreds place now 2 minus 3 we cannot minus this one why this 2 is less this 2 is lesser than this 3 so we have to take borrow from here so from here if you take borrow from here then here it is 6 here you will get 12 means here you will decrease by 1 here you will increase by 10 10 plus 2 12 12 minus 3 then from 4 to 12 you have to count 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 it is 9 so 9 here 6 minus 8 we cannot minus so we have to take borrow here it will decrease by 1 here it will increase by 10 it is 16 16 minus 8 it means from 8 to 16 we have to count 9 to 16 not 8 already 8 is here means we have to count from 9 9 to 16 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 it is 8 5 minus 5 0 same number minus same number is 0 okay same number the number minus itself answer is 0 okay now it is ones tens and hundred now 7 minus 8 we cannot minus it so borrow here it will decrease by 1 it will increase by 10 10 plus 7 17 17 minus 8 8 means 9 to 17 we have to count 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 it is 9 5 minus 7 we cannot minus this we have to take borrow from here it will decrease by 1 it will increase by 10 5 minus 7 means from 8 to 15 we have to count 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 8 3 minus 1 means 2 to 3 we have to count 2 3 it is 2 ones tens and hundred 6 minus 7 we cannot minus so we have to take borrow from next it will decrease by 1 and it will increase by 10 16 minus 7 so if you count from 8 to 16 then you will get 9 1 minus 8 we cannot minus take borrow from here it will decrease by 1 it will increase by 10 11 11 minus 8 is 3 here it is 3 3 as it is okay so like this we have to make minus in this questions same similar three questions were left that three questions here homework assignment okay here more questions were there similar questions six questions that six questions you do as your home assignment okay